day two for the solar installation. Let's go see what I did. So I went ahead and installed the uh, wire clamps and uh, put one strategically, mathematically placed. Not, anyway, where I thought they would be uh, the best suitable and uh, nice and clean. So it does clean everything up really nice and neat and keeps everything in place. Um, it works good. Now I had one viewer uh, mention that you know I could have used the Eternabond tape and I could have and I've watched a lot of videos of uh, folks who put on solar panels on the roof do do just that but the uh, problem that I was thinking about was that if I put the tape over top of the wires it would leave me with these gaps underneath and I didn't want water to collect under there especially uh, you know it's it's almost mid-October November is going to come and pretty soon the snow will fly and uh, get under there and I didn't want it to, to freeze and bust things up and so I thought this would probably be the best and uh, not to mention that you know that was less than four bucks cable clamps wire ties and I did buy some Gorilla tape that I put on the bottom to uh, actually hold that just a little bit better and uh, so there you go less than four bucks probably about six or seven bucks for the tape so ten eleven dollars versus the uh, forty five dollars I'd have to spend on uh, say twenty five feet of uh, tape for the Eterna bond so uh, several factors one the water getting under the tape two is the price that's cheap and it works so uh, that's what I went with and uh, that, that works for me tightened all my fittings down so with any luck I am now watertight airtight and uh, good to go next step on the inside there we are so all of our wires are running from the roof down inside and uh, next is I need to put the connectors on the ends and also uh, tie these things into, I think, parallel. So two positives, two negatives, going to one positive and one negative. And then we can run that to the front of the trailer, which under this spot right here, I'll have a panel that I'll mount the controller and everything behind it will be uh, shut off switches and fuse breakers and all that good stuff so let me show you what I what I got to run this so from the wires that are coming in from the uh, ceiling we have to put the connectors back on so I have uh, my uh, positive wires and my negative so I need to reinstall those and then it goes into these MC4 connectors. So I have two, two uh, negatives going into that and one negative coming out. Two positives going in, whoops, sorry. Two into this one, one coming out. And uh, two positive going into that one and one coming out. So that's what we've got to do now. And uh, for that, with these solar panels, I also have about 15 feet of uh, solar cable two of them and that'll get me part of the way and near the end I also have uh, I purchased about five more sets of MC4 connectors and I've got some red and black uh, cable with the MC4 connectors on it and I think uh, I think that'll get me to the front where I can hook to my batteries and uh, get everything charging and then once uh, once we get all the wires run we get the panel built controller installed batteries installed connected uh, once all that is complete then we'll begin on the lights and I think you'll like those because those are those are gonna look pretty cool in here so let me get started all right so I, I did install the uh, MC4 connectors on the parts that were coming through the ceiling 
and uh, use some more cable clamps and wire ties and voila. That's how I uh, have kind of affixed the mess so it's, it's out of the way and I still have a lot of usable space. And uh, now I run my wires from positive and negative down and through all my cabinetry. Around, around we go through the cabinets and so until we get to the front. So that is the next step. So I have a few holes to drill and I'm not sure if I have the grommets for it, but uh, we'll have some cables going through and uh, have all the solar wire run. So that's coming along pretty well. Um, a lot quicker than I thought it would. I bet total I might have an hour and a half installing the panels and uh, getting my wires through and getting it this far. So I think half that battle was just thinking about how I wanted to get it to the front of the trailer. So there we have it. Uh, is it the greatest? Probably not. Could it be done better? Probably so. But it's mine and I don't care. So it works for me. All right, stay tuned and uh, we'll get some more wire run. Okay, so this is a new day and uh, let me show you where we're at. So last time I uh, filmed this, I was about to this point. So I've taken my positive and my negative wires. I've run them down through all my cabinetry and uh, all the way around in my cushions, through the cabinet here on the counter and around the front. So right now, my wires are just kind of hanging in here. Now at this stage, this is where we're at. We are going to make a uh, an area here for our charge controller. So I installed a board here, and I've installed a board here. And this has about a, a 10 degree cut. So my panel is going to sit up here like so, and I'll be able to install my charge controller and a few other little odds and ends here on the face of that and then I'll have a top which will slide in uh, and lock in like that over top the whole thing and I might have a little pull handle on the top here so I can slide it open reach in and shut the battery off if I need to so on the inside I'm gonna have a the battery shut off and I can't decide it where if I want the uh, the shut off switch for the solar panel inside or if I want that on the outside and then I also have the DC distribution bo bo box that I that I need to install in there and then uh, we'll be set up and we'll be putting a battery on each side to distribute weight side to side and uh, probably set it back a little bit so I don't have so much on the tongue so that's the uh, that's the step that we're at right now so I just need to uh, cut some wood, get those things fit in, get my panel set up, and then be able to install the charge controller and all the all the shutoff switches. So that's my my task for the moment. And while we're out here, I can show you now. Uh, I finished my front curtains. You saw the video on that. I also made uh, some tie backs here that uh, hold that open really nice. I did the side window here the same way. Got my tie backs right here and the curtains open and close on the slide tracks. Very nice. And I also did the uh, side window back here. And I'm, I'm more pleased with that than I was with that. <laughs> Although I do like the balance and I like the, uh, the color and all that good stuff. That just seems to work uh, a lot better and it doesn't look like that. So, if you don't want it to look like that, then do this. <laughs> my tip for the day. And I've stacked all my cushions and everything over here so I can get to the front, and it was butt cold this morning. It was like 27 degrees. So I brought out my little handy dandy heater, and it's probably about, man, it's gotta be about 75 degrees in here right now. So it's a little toasty. Feels good though. So. Stay tuned, and I'll show you uh, what it looks like when I, gets all, when I get all the panels made. So before the sun goes down, let me show you what I've got so far. <clears throat> so I have, uh, I have my supports in for my false wall, 
in which the controller is going to mount on and also I think I will have the shutoff switch for the solar power on the outside and then on the inside I have a battery shutoff switch that um, when I connect to the battery it'll shut off the power to everything and I'll have the switch for the solar power only so I can still run off a of battery from there I go into my DC terminal block so I've got uh, all my positive sides here, and I've got an area or room for um, 12 supplies of power if I need it. And also the ground bus is on this side. So I have my, my uh, ground running through my wall, of course my grommets, and I will put a battery on this side. And then on this side I have my two hot wires coming in and uh, this long wire is going to connect my batteries in series so I have a 6 volt on this side 6 volt on this side I'll take this one and connect it to uh, negative and connect this side to positive now I'll have a 12 volt system then I also connect negative to negative and then I have also positive to positive here and that will kill the uh, the power in the trailer when I am ready to shut things down. So, uh, what am I doing next? So, my wires from my solar panel aren't long enough to connect to my controller. So, I do have more connectors, the MC4 connectors, in which I'm going to splice right in here. I have some more 10 gauge wire that I'll splice and also actually I'll connect those then I'll run those under into my charge controller. So I'm guessing by tomorrow we will have uh, solar power in the trailer and then we will concentrate on lighting. But uh, before we get everything all buttoned up make sure my false panel fits. I've got an, uh, the cover that goes on here and some trim. And then I think I've got a handle. I'm going to have to see um, how high it sticks up, but um, be able to slide that in and out. So it'll slide on top of here, lock into the back, and I'll have a piece of trim running across the front that'll lock it into place when it's sitting there. So that's it, I think, for now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and splice in the MC4 controller, or the uh, connectors and by then the Sun will be going down and although I do have lights into the trailer and I have my <laughs> little heater running well it's not running at the moment but when it gets chilly out um, I could probably still do some more work so that's where we're at at the moment stay tuned so let's go ahead and crimp on our MC4 connectors and uh, I'm using my little wire stripper here. We'll strip off about uh, half inch and just shoot it just like that. And I think I'll keep the red one covered for the moment. And this is the uh, this will be the negative side, and it will take the smaller of the connectors. And I do have a uh, pair of uh, crippers that I'll be using. And we will put that in there just like so. Put that in here. Make sure I got it right. Crush those down. Perfect. And it gives you a gives you a nice little crimp. And then we can take our connector put that on put this in the back shove it in till you hear it click just like so and then we can tighten the nut right down on that. OK. 
Okay, so that's our negative side. And uh, now we'll do the positive. Once again, let me zoom in. Take our wire crimpers, take about a half inch off. That works sweet. Take our crimper, and put your crimping on. See if it'll give me a zoom here. There you go. So you want to take that wide side, put it down on the wide end, and then the uh, little nub at the top that goes at the uh, the round part. So we'll slide our wire in there. Do it again. There we go. And crimp. Er, crush. Nice. It gives a really nice crimp on there. And Let's take and put that on there. And put this in here. Shut that in till it clicks. Boom. We are in like Flynn. And then we'll tighten that down. There we are. So at this point, now I'm ready to uh, make two other ends, positive and negative, for my controller. And uh, then I'm able to connect to the controller. So, uh, hey, that was pretty simple. I like it. So I have uh, my two wires made, negative and positive. <clears throat> and make sure uh, that you put the opposite end on the on the wire uh, you know I know that the red ring is for positive but don't put the red ring one on the positive of this one or it's not gonna work so uh, I found that out the hard way <laughs> luckily I had an extra <coughs> connector so uh, yeah you want to make sure that uh, you got the opposite ends on here so these uh, slide together pretty simple and go ahead and connect those maybe there we go and also our negative okay so now we have our connectors ready and we've got the uh, end of our wires. They are long enough that now I can go to my solar shutoff and I can also go from the solar shutoff into my controller. So I think that's going to be a wrap for today. So what's our next step? We're going to go ahead and get our panel ready. We'll go ahead and install the uh, controller and we'll get the uh, solar shutoff switch installed. And then we can uh, get everything assembled put the batteries in and get everything hooked up and make sure that we are producing power. So that is uh, part two of our solar installation and with any luck tomorrow will be the, uh, the uh, last part. So I got, I got what I wanted to get done today. I got everything installed, mounted. I don't have anything tied down just yet but uh, that's to come and we'll button those up. So with that uh, we'll call it a day, and thanks for watching, and uh, probably in a later video, I'll go into more depth about the solar and how to install it, what you're, what you're looking for. Uh, I'm no expert by any means, but uh, I've watched at least a thousand hours of video, so <laughs> if that doesn't make you somewhat of a, an expert, well, I don't know what does. So, anyway... Uh, 
that's to come in the future and we'll get into more detail on how to install this stuff so you uh, when you install yours feel a lot more comfortable about it and be able to just go ahead and get the materials and install it and feel uh, like you did the right thing so with that thanks for watching please like subscribe leave a comment if you'd like and uh, we'll see you in the next time